The Fungal Genetics Stock Center is a research resource repository, and we preserve and distribute strains of filamentous fungi and yeast that are used for research in uh, biomedicine, in uh, biofuel development, genetics in general. Uh, this collection was established in 1960 out of concern that the research resources that were used in the demonstration of the seminal one gene, one enzyme hypothesis uh, wouldn't be available to future generations of researchers. And that's been a very uh, foresighted activity. Uh, we're now using whole genome sequence characterization uh, in collaboration with the Department of Energy to understand what genes are deficient in strains that were originally studied in the 1950s. And this is important because Neurospora, the main organism in the collection, is a model for uh, plant biomass deconstruction by microbes and with the ultimate goal of producing biofuel from plant biomass. We're a peer of the E. coli Stock Center at Yale University, the Bacillus Stock Center at The Ohio State University, and a diverse array of living research resource collections around the U.S. Uh, they're used to understand how we can treat uh, uh, fungal infections in humans and animals, and fungi are important in veterinary medicine. They're also very important for understanding uh, how we can manage agricultural fungal infections. So we're in the Department of Plant Pathology and many of the organisms in the collection are agricultural pests. Through the activity of the U.S. Culture Collection Network, many collections are now developing off-site backups in collaboration with the U.S. Department of Agriculture National Center for Genetic Resource Preservation in Fort Collins, Colorado. The USDA is stepping up at a time when many collections face loss, you know, when a researcher retires or when they move to another institution. Sometimes the research resources are highly valuable, but the new institution doesn't have a home. But the government has already invested in them, and so we're providing a way to make those resources available to future generations of researchers.